Welcome to this edition of Road Warrior. I'm your host, Grant Robertson. Today we try out the 2013 Cadillac ATS Turbo. Now we've gone down this road before with the ATS, but it was the bigger V6 version. So we're going to try the turbo and see what we got behind the wheel. Now the first thing you need to know about the Cadillac ATS is that this is a sports sedan. Now what I mean by that is that this is not your daddy's caddy. Now by the numbers, it's got just over 110 inch wheelbase and it's overall about 182 inches long. Now by those numbers, that means this vehicle is kind of tight and you'll see that later on when we look at the interior legroom. Now, of course, if you look at the exterior stylings, what I like about it is it kind of reminds me of the kind of BMW 5 series back in the day, right down to the rim, the spoke rims. Now, looking down there, of course, you've got uh, 240 uh, tires, 18-inch wheels, 17 inches standard. And these are nice because they're not chromed out. They don't have a lot of bling. It's more of a brushed, subdued, subdued kind of look. Now, overall, you've got nice, nice sleek lines. And again, we talked about it. It kind of gives me that BMW feel that back in the day. Um, overall, you've got just a hint of chrome here, body color everywhere, and again, it sits really, really low. The height is really only about 55 inches, very short, which means when you get in this vehicle, you're going to have to kind of scoot down. I've kind of banged my head a couple times right about here. So overall, it's a nice vehicle, very sports oriented. So again, not your DeVille here. Now from the front end, of course, and this is what we always talk about, grill power, grill warfare, you know, you're going to have it up front and center, of course, with the Cadillac Crest. Now what I've noticed with the vehicles in general, Mercedes, BMW, Chevys, all these are trying to, of course, put their um, badging right front up and center real big. Now, of course, what I like about this is it has the typical Cadillac styling across the family lines. You're going to see these headlights on all their models, nice stacked, uh, nice chisel lines up front. You've got a huge grill with good airflow. Uh, fog lights, of course, tucked down low. Overall, this vehicle, though, is again not like the old days. It does have sculpted lines, kind of reminiscent of the 70s and 80s and things like that, but overall this has a nice sleek appeal. Again, nice aerodynamic all the way across. And what I like about this is you're going to see a lot of these styling cues from one vehicle to the next. So if you need size, of course, you start stepping up. You're still not going to lose the kind of prestigious look that this vehicle offers from this vehicle on up. Now diving just a little bit closer, uh, Cadillac touts this grill, and actually what they're talking about is at certain highway speeds it actually will close to enhance aerodynamic ability and enhance fuel economy. Now we talked about this before, and what I like on the Cadillacs, of course, is the intelligent key. Now what this means is, of course, you keep it in your pocket, you walk up to a locked vehicle, press the button, and it opens right up. Now what's great about that is it corresponds right when you get in the vehicle as well, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But overall, depending on where you are in the vehicle, of course, you need to get in the back, you press this, it opens right up. You're at the trunk, press the button, it opens up. Now what I found on this and where it works great is when you're at the grocery store, bags all in your hand. If you can get an elbow to this button, the vehicle knows you're there. Now try this on other vehicles where you have to have the key fob and you have to unlock it. Very difficult. Now this may sound trivial, but on a $50,000 vehicle, you want access, you want easy ingress into the vehicle. Now the back of the Cadillac it picks up right where the front left off where you have that kind of knifing, kind of narrowing front end, you have that back here. Now you have a kind of a rear spoiler which acts as a tail light just the same. Again back here easy access, you come up with groceries, one touch right here it pops open. Now what you'll notice once you get into this trunk it's actually cavernous, it actually goes way back. Again that may compromise the actual leg room we'll talk about in the back seat, but overall you got plenty of space in here. You actually have a niche over here for things sliding around. Well, one thing I could not find easy access to or one at all is a spare tire. There's actually a lift hatch here to get down to kind of some more storage, but spare tire, I don't know where you are. Which means if this vehicle has a low flat, flat tire, whatever it may be, you're having called AAA to replace it. Now the Cadillac ATS comes with a few power plant choices. Now we tested a 3.6 liter V6 a few months back and that obviously offered the most power in this segment. Now of course this model came with the turbo edition, that's a 2.0 liter four cylinder. Now that may not sound like a lot of horses, but of course you add the turbo in there and you really add the spunk. Now overall this vehicle weighs less than 3400 pounds, so you don't need a lot of power to get off the line. And that's more than evident when you couple this with the turbo. Plenty of horses and plenty of power. Now, the 3.6 liter course is going to be over 300 horses. Now this vehicle is around 272 horses. Now of course you have 260 foot pounds of torque to couple with that. Now what I found is that this is a perfectly matched engine to this vehicle. Now there is a smaller four cylinder as well and it's kind of going to have more of anemic power around 200 horses. Now 
that's not necessarily the one I'd be looking for on a vehicle that touts itself as having sport. Now this vehicle does have traction control and now what I did notice on certain occasions when you stomped it, it did override and kind of uh, minimize the power, but that was far and few between. Most of the time when you hit the gas, it responds with a little bit of tire spin. The traction control really doesn't override that and you get off the line. Now again, this does have a manual-like mode with paddle shifters. Now I've talked about this in the past and some vehicles have it and I'm not too crazed about it. On this vehicle, I'm actually impressed. The, uh, I found myself self, uh, using the paddle shifters quite often and actually it tends to rocket you off the line and I actually used it more than I thought I would. Now the Cadillac ATS comes equipped with a six-speed automatic transmission and comes in either rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive models. Now the fuel numbers are going to be around 20 to 30 miles per gallon depending on what you're linked up with. Now overall what I like about this vehicle is that you'll notice the rear track is actually about a half inch wider than the front and overall with the, uh, the nice McPherson struts and the overall suspension this vehicle holds the road tight. Also what you'll find is it has very minimal bumps, if at all, and harshness on the road. Now that is even said with the small tread wall that you have on these tires down here, they're low profile. And one thing I forgot to mention is be careful when you get up to the curb. These low profile tires and rims that kind of protrude out are gonna scrape up real easy. But overall it's a nice sports dynamic feel combined all around. Now what I like about this vehicle is that when you go down the road, people stare and look. I don't know if they don't know it's a Cadillac, they're kind of figuring out, hey, is this a BMW, is this a Lexus, is this a Mercedes? Now what I like is that people look at me. People look at this vehicle and want to take notice. And that's great when you have a vehicle, especially when you're paying $50,000, you won't hesitate to turn. Now once you're inside the Cadillac ATS, this is where you're going to feel the true sport of this vehicle. And what you'll notice right off the bat in this vehicle is the two-tone interior. You have the kind of a dark red uh, sport appeal here with a darker dash all the way around. Now by the numbers, and of course what I look at is legroom. Up front you have typical sedan styling over 41 inches. Now where you find the Achilles heel in any sports sedan is in the back seat, and that's what you're gonna find here. Has nearly about a nine inch drop from front to back, around about 33 inches of legroom. And what that means is there's gonna to have to be some compromise up front for the average size person to get in the back. Now what you'll find on the Cadillac is simplicity. And, then, and where you'll start with that of course is the Q, and that is the the home screen for everything on this vehicle. It's simply right at the touch, you have weather, navigation, audio, XM, satellite radio, FM, all that right here. And it's all built into this over five inch screen. You simply click it and you're, you pick what you need and move on. And what's great about that is it kind of mimics the MyLink, which I really, really liked on the Chevys. So this is kind of in the same family, probably an upgrade, of course, on this vehicle. Now down here, You've got climate control as well. You've got simple, simple buttons, no knobs, nothing again that clutters the feel of this vehicle. Now, once you grab the steering wheel, you'll notice that again, everything is right where you want it. We talked about the paddle shifters being right here. You have volume controls, cruise controls, uh, heated steering wheel, heated seats. Again, this is top of line Cadillac styling right here. So you have everything you want. You got, again, you got dual cup holders here. You've got some bottle holders in the door. You got Bose uh, sound system. You've literally got all the trappings that you'd want on a luxury vehicle in a nice compact sedan styling. Now, of course, in a vehicle like this where you're probably going to exceed the speed that you should be going, you of course want to know about safety. One, one thing you'll notice right off the bat when you put it in reverse, of course, you had the backup camera that kind of alerts you anything coming on. Of course, it also has some blind side alerts when you're backing up. The seat will actually vibrate should you get too close to anything. The best thing I like is the blind spot mirrors which basically have a little orange indicator should a vehicle come up from the left or the right it actually gives you a little indicator to let you know that vehicle's there once it gets out of your blind spot it actually will go away now i've seen that on a lot of vehicles and it's of course right here on this cadillac ats and is one of the nicest safety features i do like now i'd like to thank you for watching this edition of road warrior i'm of course your host grant robertson and we test out a 2013 Cadillac ATS Turbo. Now we've done this before, we tested out a 3.6 liter earlier and that had a lot of horsepower. Again, not too bad on this four cylinder as this is a light vehicle and gets off the line with just a tap of the gas. Now again, we love the styling cues, kind of reminds me of the BMWs back in the day and even currently, and they have some nice stylings. Again, this is not your daddy's caddy. Look back in the 80s and the big boats, we've gone away from that. This vehicle is a sports sedan and Cadillac is really going to the young up and comers. Now again, I'd like to thank you for watching. As always, keep both hands on the wheel and eyes straight ahead.